Welcome back, everybody. I have decided to go ahead and occasionally look in on my colony of Plymouth here on Banished. So we're going to continue now that we've got some livestock. We've got a nice farm going. And we'll just kind of keep an, an eye on things from time to time and see if we can't grow this colony and make it a little bit bigger and maybe expand even down here to the south. So I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to start expansion down this way. Maybe build some new homes and hope that maybe we get some nomads who show up and want to be a part of our fair town because of the changes and the additions that are made. So we're going to start queuing up some new homes here. And I think we'll go ahead and get a bridge. We'll build a stone bridge across so that we'll have further uh, expansion ability there. Let's get a stone pathway going. So we're obviously going to need a bunch more stone to accommodate all the things that I'm doing. Just kind of take a look at things. Uh, we're completely out of stone, completely out of stored coal. So I'm going to have to go ahead and get a I don't think we have stone just lying around at this point. Oh, there's a little over here. So we'll start by gathering that. But we're definitely going to need more. And I think what we'll have to do is go with uh, building a quarry. Maybe we'll do that right here. I'm thinking better of it. I'm thinking maybe it goes right here instead just because I want to try and keep all my homes together a little better. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a quarry going. That'll take a while to clear and get going, but we'll hopefully have enough workers to make that happen. Bunch more children being born. Uh, so now we're up to 34 adults, one student, 18 children. And we're certainly going to need to accommodate for all of that. But I'm going to let it skip ahead a little bit and we'll kind of just look in from time to time. All right, so here we are in the autumn of year 17 and the quarry is nearly complete. And we'll be able to go ahead and just place the stone right there when it's completed on our nice little stockpile we have going. I've got plenty of firewood at the moment. We're going to take a look real quick at the town hall and just look at uh, some of what's happening here. So it looks like uh, 15 homes, there's 21 families, so we definitely need more homes to get this, uh, get this colony growing a little faster. And these two are hardly going to be enough. We're going to need more than that. And I'm thinking just because of the lack of stone, we may have to go ahead and build some wooden homes. In fact, why don't we build a boarding house, which is going to take up a little bit of space. And we'll put that over here somewhere. And that's going to, of course, also take some time to, to get going. I'm going to go ahead and at least get somebody started on the process of mining stone. So we've got at least a little bit coming in. And then we'll assign more workers once, uh, once the builders are done with their current tasks. So we're building a boarding house. We've got the quarry going. We've got six cattle now, and those will eventually multiply, and then we'll start slaughtering some of those for meat. We've got orchards for cherries, apples, and pecans, and uh, we've got corn that's going to be planted here. Let's just look and see. Um, corn there, a lot of corn, so actually we might be better off to go ahead and switch back to wheat. So let's go ahead and do that for this upcoming harvest. We'll get the houses built, we'll get the bridge built, we'll get the boarding house built, and we'll see how things are going. All right, welcome to the spring of 18. And uh, we just received the uh, merchant. He's a food merchant, though, and uh, unfortunately, not really anything that I need from the, fish, uh, from the food merchant. 
Uh, these are all things that I already have. So let's go ahead and place an or order uh, for things that maybe we don't have. Things like chicken, I don't know, potatoes, pumpkin, and just say, hey, why don't you bring some of this stuff to us next time you come around. And we'll go ahead and dismiss the food merchant. Nothing really of any worth there. Firewood reserves low, so we've got to go ahead and play the game here again. And switch one of our gatherers over to uh, woodcutter. Uh, you'll notice now we are already up to eight cattle. You can see our herdsmen working hard there, herdsman and woman. Uh, we've got some little calves that are growing. Pretty soon we'll be able to slaughter some of these cattle for meat. Still working on that boarding house. I think maybe my workers or my builders are busy elsewhere at the moment. I'm not sure what they're working on. They're still clearing the iron, it looks like, from over here. My tavern is out of... Or are they just full? No. Apparently they don't have any cherries with which to make ale. So let's see what we do have available to us, if anything. Nope. Well, pretty soon they'll get the harvest and they'll be able to continue making those. Um, we've got three really nice orchards going right now. There's our wheat crop looking nice. Lots of food available already. We've still got 5,000. So no issues with food. We really just need to build more housing and get room for more people. In fact, I may just take one of the farmers off and get them working on building to see if that helps a little bit. Uh, stone obviously continues to be an issue, so maybe I'm better off rather than doing builders. Maybe we do a few more stone cutters for the time being. We're now up to 34 adults, 4 students, 16 children. And yes, our tavern is right up alongside of the, ha of the schoolhouse. I understand the irony in that. It's kind of funny, I think. All right, we'll come back. All right, we're in the autumn of 18. The harvest is coming in. We're harvesting all the wheat. We'll start harvesting the pecans, the uh, apples, and the cherries. So we'll see all of those things coming in to the barn up here. You can see we've got 900 apples, 155 cherries, lots of corn, lots of wheat. People are almost immediately coming and taking all of those things back to their homes. But our tavern also grabbed plenty of cherries to go ahead and continue making ale to keep everyone happy. I think we're going to need to make a chapel at some point because there are at least a little bit of issues now with uh, with happiness. We're actually at four and a half stars out of five. But I'm desperately waiting for them to complete this boarding house. And I'm not sure what the holdup is. Well, no, the holdup's still stone. So... Let's get a couple more workers going as stone cutters. I'm going to also take a miner over there. So now we've got five stone cutters. Hopefully we can get the stone going a little quicker. Get that boarding house going a little quicker. Because just taking a look here, we now have 21 families and 15 homes. So we need more homes to accommodate the families. We definitely need more education, but that's not going to happen until some people actually stick with school long enough. Production-wise, we're still producing plenty of food for what we're consuming. Got a little bit of everything. Just want to get some more trading going so I can import some more things. Uh, we have a clothing issue. Okay. Yikes. All right, we got to deal with that. Half my people are not clothed. That's definitely a problem. So let's get our tailor hard at work. And let me check real quick and see if I've got maybe anything in the trading post. I do, actually. So we're going to take those hide coats out of the trading post and make them available to the public who desperately needs them right now. So you can see here, it's, uh, what, about 670% 70, 70 or so of my people are currently clothed. So we need that red line to get back up to the top. Oh, the boarding house is coming along nicely. We finally have all the stone we need to complete it. And once that's done, then I'll go ahead and I can unpause the, the building of these couple of homes over here and the bridge. And they can immediately transfer their work over there. We had some more children born, three of them. 
So now we have, we're up to 39, uh, wow, 49, 57 people in our fair little town. And we're about to create some more living space for those people. They won't multiply if they're in a boarding house for obvious reasons. Come on, guys. We're so close. It's early spring, so I'm going to reassign some workers back over to farming as soon as we're done with this building project. Maybe I'll, I'll take a stone cutter and move him over now. Come on, guys. We're so close. I must have put him back over on other work projects too soon, I think. Yep, we're going to get this home done. Boom. Our 9-year-old and 11-year-old living together. Seems a little inappropriate, but it's a different world, different time. Here comes the uh, long-awaited boarding house. No one lives there at the moment. But that's totally okay. It gives us kind of an overflow, a place for people to go if they have nowhere else to go. Did we produce too much ale? What's going on here? No, I guess not. He just doesn't have enough cherries. So we're going to switch over to apple ale. See if we've got some apples that we can make ale with. No, we don't. Everybody's taking all the food. We can make wheat ale. Maybe that's the way we'll go. And we're going to produce wheat again this year. We're 11 out of 11 on the cattle, so we'll probably start slaughtering some of those. We've still got 62 tools, so we're good on blacksmith for a little while. However, our tailor is out of work to do. All right, we'll come back in a little while and check on things. Hey, we're back already because look like we have some bean seeds available to us the problem is I'm a little low on some things and I'm not entirely sure that I'm gonna have anything that I can trade for those bean seeds so we're gonna see what we can come up with but he won't take food I don't think he's gonna take ale nope so I'm kinda of limited I may not be able to trade for those bean seeds at the moment at least not until I get my workforce back up and we're producing things in a large enough quantity to be able to do that. So I may have to send this one away without buying anything off of him this time around. But we'll go ahead and make sure that the orders stay for all the things that we do need. Yep, we're good on that. All right, we'll see what happens. All right, well, as things progress here, we're into winter. It's 19 is the year. I've just queued up a chapel to begin building. I want to make sure that we do everything we can to keep our citizens' happiness up. We've got that bridge completed to get across here, though I'm not building currently anything there. I just wanted to have that option. And uh, it looks like maybe we are maxed out on... Yeah, wow, cool. We maxed out on stone because I started gathering some up. So I'm going to go ahead and let our quarry keep working for a little while. But things are looking good right now. We did start slaughtering some of the cattle. And it looks like so far we still have more corn than we have wheat. So we'll go one more year with wheat before we switch over to corn. Maxed out on logs? Yeah, we sure are. Okay. We're going to need to get woodcutter going again, though. So I think maybe I'll take one of my foresters and go woodcutter with him. Current things uh, we have going here, we have 60 people in the village now. Uh, we've got 34 adults, 7 students, 19 children. So we desperately need some of those kids to enter the workforce at some point, but we want to do it when they're educated so that they will be of more use to me. And back down to 129 stone because we used 130 of the stone I had to build the chapel. 
But things are uh, they're coming along nicely. Nobody living in the boarding house still. We're just going to keep that kind of as a backup. I did build four more wood houses here. And just looking at the totals now, we have 22 homes for 16 families. So there's plenty of room to grow. 61 citizens as we just had another child born. And, uh, of course, education continues to be my main issue as everything else is looking pretty good at the moment. We'll just continue to focus on that and hopefully eventually get some of these folks into the workforce. So while we're in the midst of all these things and we're into the year, uh, the summer of year 20, I thought it would be kind of cool to just maybe take a look at a few of the citizens of my fair town and see what they're up to. Here's Arland. Arland is a 36-year-old uh, stonecutter who's got a fair uh, amount of clothing is educated and using a steel tool to do his stone cutting task and right here behind him is uh, a Dean who's a female also 36 also a stone cutter and basically the same kind of kinds of things going on for her let's take a look at a few of the other folks here we have a baby walking around <laughs> she's age zero but yes uh, that that's what we have there we got a four-year-old here who is not educated uh, is playing that's good we've got seven students now going in our schoolhouse kind of just looking around at some of the people here a lot of kids a lot of young children in my village so what we're gonna see happen here is in the next I don't know eight to ten years of the game the amount of adults that are in my workforce and educators is gonna massively explode and that's when things are really gonna take off because just right now we've got 23 children and another seven who are uh, students and so there's you know basically out of our 64 members of this community over half of them are kids who are either in school or just not educated at all and just still playing as children so it's it's slow going now and I and it's a, a lot of people that are taking resources but not producing them but it's gonna change rapidly in just a couple of years so I'll be curious to see what happens when we get to that point for now, really, I'm just trying to make sure that my resources all kind of stay where they need to be and that I have enough of everything. And right now, you know, obviously I've still got issues with having enough coal. Uh, I've got enough of everything else, it seems. F the food's actually going down for the first time because we've multiplied so rapidly with the number of people that I have that uh, they're finally starting to consume more food than I'm producing. So I'm going to have to make sure that I uh, get some more people employed as farmers here in the next couple of years. And I may just have to get one field of wheat and one of corn going at the exact same time at all times. So I think I'll do that now and then the next harvest will be prepared to do that to keep it going. So as we get into early spring of the year 21, I'm actually going to build another hunting cabin up here. It's kind of out there and out of the way. But what I'm finding is I keep running short on the amount of clothes that I have. So I desperately need to be bringing in more um, more hides from hunting than I currently am so that I can produce more. So we'll do that and we'll, uh, we'll get our tailor back at work here hopefully soon. You can see as we get into the spring, um, lots of work going into producing things I've got my my new cornfield going so separate corn and wheat fields uh, we're, we're slaughtering cattle but not nearly enough to feed everybody in a healthy way so just a little bit is being produced each time the merchant has arrived and let's see who this merchant is it's a general goods merchant okay so we've definitely got some things let me pause here that we can use and I don't currently have a trader so I'm going to take one of my fishermen and make him a trader. And then I've got to build up the inventory to where I'll be able to trade. And it looks like this guy, thankfully, will take some of these other things that I have. So uh, we have cherries already. We don't have peaches. We don't have beans. We do have apples. So I think we're going to go with beans. And we're just going to have to see what we can trade to get those. 
Herbs are valuable. We got some extra pecans here. We could even trade a little bit of ale. But I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to gather more than that to be able to make this happen. So I'm gonna have to send my trusty trader out to deal with some of these things. Uh, we'll, I think we'll grab a, a few steel tools. We've got some to, to spare. Maybe maybe even a little bit of stone. So we'll get our trader building those things back up. And that will allow me to be able to go ahead and trade. And I can get those bean seeds. And then I'll have to create yet another field. But that's going to be necessary. Because you can see my amount of stored food is actually starting to go down now. Because I've got so many people... And they're multiplying so rapidly. We're up to 64 people now that we're starting to consume a whole lot more food than I did, did before. But I'm not producing that many more people uh, that are in the workforce yet. So uh, we'll get there. All right, early winter, year 21. And uh, we continue to multiply. I've now got 35 adults, 12 students, and 20 children. So uh, massively growing quickly now. It's going to happen even more rapid. And that's really going to start to create some real challenges because there's going to be a lot more managing of all the different resources. Whereas the first few years it was pretty easy because I was producing plenty of everything. Now as I have more and more children and not quite as many adults to handle all of them, uh, it becomes more and more of an issue. So right now we've got 67 citizens and 18 families in 22 homes. They're 100% clothed. I'm producing enough clothes. I've, I've gotten myself up to five hunters now with that new hunting lodge, uh, just so I can have some additional help with uh, bringing in enough textiles to be able to produce the clothing that I need. So pretty much the tailor is going to be working nonstop now, I think. Um, I'm starting to stockpile a little bit of stored coal, so I'll be able to get the, the blacksmith working again if and when the, the tools get low. Everybody's happy. Everybody's healthy. Uh, it's interesting yet that in 21 years, I've still, knock on wood, only had one person die, and that was in childbirth. Chickens. Okay, let me tell you why this is perfect timing, because I actually am in the process of creating a pasture here, and I was going to use that uh, as a second spot for cattle so we could have more cattle so I could produce more beef, but I think we'll go ahead and put our chickens there for now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and buy, uh, let's say, four chickens. We'll let them multiply from there. Uh, and we can go ahead and once again kind of load up on some things that I can trade for that. doesn't look like I can trade food for it though. Uh, so I'm going to have to gather up some things like logs, seal tools. And that will be the way that I do this. I've got plenty of logs. Logs are not an issue. There's plenty of wood. So we'll start gathering some of those up. We'll get these chickens. And we're going to tell them next time only bring sheep. So in a couple more years we'll get sheep. We'll have a place for the chickens here fairly soon. Right now I just need the resources to be able to trade for those chickens. So I'll do that and we will uh, come on back and see how things look. Alright, so I just traded for two chickens. But that's okay. My herdsmen will hopefully get them to multiply. And in a few years we'll have more than two. But we'll see how that all works out over time you can hear them making their noise they're doing their thing you can see just the two little chickens walking around um, in the meantime I'm finally getting a decent stockpile of clothing we're up to 28 so everybody's gonna be fully clothed um, not a lot of ale going there and we do I did uh, clear out another crop field so we can start planting our beans but that again that's gonna mean more people required for the workforce for farming so I desperately need some of these children to start graduating from school so they can begin the process of helping out uh, in the workforce I've got 10 students now I've got 22 kids that aren't of school age 37 adults working in the fields but so far so good so we'll let this go a little while we'll see what happens then we'll wrap this episode up in a couple more years all right, we're in the early autumn of 22, and for the first time, you can see we're producing eggs. So I now have a little bit of just about everything. I don't have pumpkins. I don't have wool coats. I don't have cabbage. I don't have ale. 
because these people are heavy drinkers apparently and we're not producing enough ale to satisfy the thirst of all of my people so we're gonna have to work on that I might have to find an alternate source of ale uh, production just because I'm, I'm consuming pretty much everything we're producing at this point I'll be producing beans next year so hopefully that di diversification will help but uh, we've got three orchards pecans cherries and can't see it hold on apples we've got our wheat crop our corn crop our bean crop which will produce next year um, I am starting to see a little bit of beef showing up in the stockpile so we must have slaughtered some of the cattle and they haven't gathered all that up yet so a nice variety of food available to my people uh, we've multiplied our first chicken we've now got three chickens instead of four so things are looking good things are uh, stabilizing a little bit uh, I desperately hope some of these children are almost ready to get out of the work out of the school and into the workforce but just to give an overview you can see my educated percent has gone up so we are starting to produce some graduates it's back up to 38 percent that's the first increase I've had in a long time 100 percent clothed and uh, 69 citizens now in 18 families so we'll take this up into the year 23 and then I think we'll wrap this episode up there it's a good spot to stop but uh, things are kind of balanced out now things are going okay alright so the chickens are multiplying we're up to four now hopefully they'll start multiplying faster and faster just as my people have we're gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up as you can see I'm now up to 38 adults 10 children tw uh, oh we just lost one oh a child uh, a student became an adult so we've got 39 adults 9 students 21 children as you can see my educated percent is now up to 41 percent so it's slowly working up in the right direction that's good news uh, it's also good news that I have balanced out my food issues and even though we kind of went down to about 3,000 at one point we've got plenty available now lots of different types of crops being built uh, I'll slowly but surely start getting those folks into my workforce and I think things are in good shape once again so I'll probably revisit this series maybe once a week or so just because I know some of you are interested in continuing to see how this progresses so I don't want to abandon it completely but I do want to branch out and do some other things so I'll do some more videos on Ostrov uh, I'll do another series on this at some point uh, that shows you some of the mods that can really kind of change up how the game plays so we'll wrap it up right there as always if you like what you see and you want to see more please hit that thumbs up please feel free to use the comment section below for any and all comments about what I'm doing what you like what you don't like what you think I should do uh, I welcome all of it and we will see you again soon thanks for watching